Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy June. And welcome to Strength and Balance, uh, a class from Power for Parkinson's with me, Nancy. So I welcome all of my regulars, my peeps, my fan club <laughs> that I love, and anybody out there who is new. So if you're new today, if you can uh, put something in the chat, just like, hello, I'm so-and-so and I'm from, tell us where you're from, that would be great, especially if you're new. Uh, right now, I would like to say hello to my New Yorkers, Heidi in upstate New York and Grace in Long Island. I'm a former New Yorker. I don't like to actually even say former because I consider myself, even though I was born in Texas, to also be a New Yorker, <laughs> so there you go. Um, and Tina is on, I know that Tina got on, so anybody else out there who's on, just give me a, a shout out and Zoe will, will tell me who's there and I can say hello. Um, I hope everybody's doing well and that you are taking care of yourselves. Um, it's a really uh, difficult time right now in the world and we are trying to uh, put a brave smile on our faces and keep going. So I, I want you to know that we are with you. We are supporting you every single day with our uh, classes that we offer every single day on YouTube. And also we have many in-person classes going in the greater Austin area. And they are wonderful, so don't miss out on those. I would like to remind you that we have a theme every month and June is no exception. So the theme for June is fitness for mind and body. Now, as I said in my previous class today, in the olden days, <laughs> and this goes all the way back to the Greeks, they separated. So this was completely separate from this. But we all know now that both are connected and this can't function without this and this can't function without this. So there is a huge connection and it's really important for us to focus on both of those things because they're, they're greatly affected by Parkinson's. Um, and so we want to address those needs in every way that we possibly can. So that's why we're going to do some mental challenges, some brain games in our workouts, um, even just the concept of doing uh, the opposite hand or reaching across the midline is a, a, a wake up of the brain and allows the, the brain to use both sides. So that's something that we work on all the time. I like to do that in my classes. I know that many of you have seen that before. So I do wanna remind you of that. And another word that was brought to my attention um, this morning in my in-person class was neuroplasticity neuroplasticity. That means that your brain is always learning and making adjustments and new connections. So that is an absolutely miraculous aspect of our brains and one that we also try to push in Parkinson's. So don't forget that. Um, some classes that besides our regular fitness class that can really help with these things are the in-person vocal exercise and singing class with Rachel. That's on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock in North, Northwest Austin at Unity Church. And also Nadine's class, which is Relax and Reset, that works on breathing, which is a, an unbelievable tool that we have with our bodies and stretching, relaxing, and imagery. And you know that I incorporate some of this as well in my classes. And don't forget that I have a, an in-person dance exercise class on Wednesdays in person, Northwest Austin at 11 o'clock, right after Rachel's. And I will be uh, presenting a new sitting 
chair dance coming out later this month. So look for that. Um, that'll be online on YouTube. All right, we're going to get started. Um, again, please do say hello. And I am actually going to take my glasses off because my eyes <laughs> really need a lot of help and I can read close up, but if it's further away, I need my glasses off these days. Strange, strange aspect of having bifocals, but that's what's going on with me. <laughs> so, all right, so place your hands on your thighs, look down at your toes, Make sure your toes are straight ahead. They could be hip width apart or slightly wider. Knees lined up with those toes. Shoulders over your hip sockets. Chin resting on the imaginary shelf so that it doesn't drop or lift or push forward and strain those neck muscles. Feel the chair coming up underneath you and supporting you. Oh, I forgot to remind you of the prop today. So our prop is our trusty bed pillow with pillowcase. So have that handy for the middle of our class when we decide that we're gonna take a nap, no. <laughs> All right, press against your thighs. Lift your spine up a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. This is gonna produce some tension, so I want you to breathe here. Make a mental note of where your spine is. So this is your goal, to try to get a little bit taller. And keep breathing. And now try to keep your spine there as you relax your hands and wrists. Release your forearms and elbows. Relax your upper arms and shoulders. Soften your neck muscles. Wiggle your jaw from side to side. Move your tongue around in your mouth. Stick your tongue out. And again, open your mouth and really stick your tongue out. One more time. Really reach that tongue. And say la 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 la. Good, one more time. La, 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 la. Great. Suck your cheeks in. Poof them out. Alternate poof. Like you're gargling. And relax your mouth. Wrinkle up your nose twice. Relax, lift your eyebrows up and down. Up and down. Up and down. One more, up and down. Squeeze your whole face together. Open it out wide, eyes and mouth. And relax and shake it out. Good. Okay, so we woke up our face, our facial muscles and our mouths. Really important for Parkinson's. And now we're going to do some breathing. Let's work on even breaths today. So we'll breathe in through our nose for four counts and out through our mouths for four counts. Remember this is one breath on four counts. One inhale for four counts, one exhale for four counts. Let's do it twice. Sitting nice and tall, lift that spine and chest again. Ready to begin, breathing in through the nose. One, two, three. Four, out through the mouth, one, two, three, four. And again, breathing in, one, two, three, four, out through the mouth, one, two, three, four. Relax and breathe normally. Wiggle your toes a little bit inside of your shoes. Good, relax them. Wiggle your fingers and thumbs. Relax them, bring your shoulders up toward your ears and drop down, lift your spine, lift your chest. Let's increase the counts now. So we'll breathe in for five counts and out for five counts. We'll do it twice. You can exhale through your nose or through your mouth, your choice. Ready to begin sitting nice and tall and breathing in one, two, Three, four, five, out through nose or mouth. One, two, three, four, 
five. And again, in through the nose, one, two, three, four, five. Out through nose or mouth, one, two, three, four, five. Relax and breathe normally. Wiggle your shoulders a little bit. Okay, we're going to do something new today. This was a gift to me from a friend of mine whose dad has Parkinson's. He's one of my students. And she, his, her, his daughter is a yoga teacher with a specialty in breathing. So bring your hands up. Now turn your palms so they're facing you and the backs of the hands are facing the screen. Cross your hands, hook your thumbs. So now we have the sign, as in sign language, for butterfly. And we're gonna take our butterfly and we're going to place it on our chest. So if this is difficult for you, you can place your fingertips on your chest. But if you can flatten your hands out, you can keep them there. You may close your eyes and breathe. Feel the breath in your hands. Feel the breath touching the butterfly. You can tap your fingers a little bit and then relax again. Take another breath. And one more. Good, and relax your arms down. So that particular image and breath technique is really good for calming and working with anxiety. So when you're having a moment of anxiety, remember the butterfly on your chest and breathing with the butterfly. Okay, arms down. Wiggle your toes inside of your shoes. Lift them up and spread them. Press the balls of your feet a little bit into the floor. Keep those toes up. Bring your arms out to the side. Wiggle your fingers and thumbs and then stretch your fingers as wide as you can. Open your hands. Now drop your toes and relax your feet. Relax your fingers, relax your arms. Bring your shoulders up to your ears again and drop. And one more time, up and drop. And turn the hands out. Sun salutation, big breath in as we reach wide and up and breath out. Thumbs come to the breastbone, lift your spine and chest. Breathe in, breathe out, lift and lengthen. Breathe in here, breathe out, reach for forward and down. Touch toes or ankles or shins or knees. Breathe in again, reach forward and up. And breathe out. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows, lift the chest and spine. And again, big breath in. Breathe out, lift the chest and spine here. Breathe in, breathe out, lift. Lengthen, your head floats up like the helium balloon. Breathe in, breathe out, reach further forward. Go a little bit further forward. Bring your chin toward your chest. Breathe in, reach forward and up, and breathe out. Last time, a little faster. Big breath in and out. Breathe in here. Breathe out, lift and lengthen. Breathe in, breathe out. Go as far as you can, bring your chin to your chest. Breathe in, reach forward and all the way up. Breathe out, exhale, good. Sitting nice and tall, good. And gentle twist, chest, shoulders and head right. Come back to center, chest, shoulders and head left. Back to center, and Zoe's gonna pick up the pace now. Chest, shoulders, and head to one side, and come back to center. Chest, shoulders, and head to the other side. Come back to center, good. 
push your fingers forward. Swing those arms nice and loose, bent elbows, loosed wrists and fingers. Now stretch, reach, reach, strong arms, stretched arms. Reach as far behind you as you're reaching forward. Send the energy flowing down your arms. Out your fingertips like laser beams. That means you're superheroes. Loose arms again. And stretched arms, this time turning your head towards your back hand. And rest. Sitting tall, shoulders go up, drop, up, drop, single shoulder, lift, drop, lift, drop, rolling the shoulders up, push back and down, single roll, up and circle around, up and circle around. Turn your head to one side, center, the other side, center, First side, center, other side, center. Back to the shoulders, up, down, up, down. Single, lift, drop, lift, drop. Rolling, big, up, push back and down. Single shoulder roll, circle, around, circle, around. Looking up and center. Keep the chest up, look down and center, again, look up and center, look down and center, back to the shoulders, up, down, up, down, single, lift, drop, lift, drop, rolling up, big push, back and down, single, big shoulder roll, big shoulder roll, tilt the head to one side and center, the other side, and center, first side, and center, second side, and center, wiggle it out, laughing shoulders, ha 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 ha. One more time, a little louder, it's Monday, ha 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 ha. Okay, I hope I started to get you laughing. All righty, so we're gonna take our arms out to the sides and turn the palms and inside elbows to look to the ceiling and reach, reach, try to touch the walls. Yes, rotate to the back, rotate to look to the ceiling. Reach, reach, try to touch the walls. Rotate to the back, rotate up, looking at the ceiling. One more time, reach and reach, move those ribs, reach and reach, come center, rotate and center. This time, float all the way up, cross your thumbs, make your pencil. If this bothers your shoulders, you can bring your arms a little forward to relax your shoulders, but I want your head to be that helium balloon floating up to the ceiling. Now take your pencil point and draw the line across the ceiling, lengthening your spine stretching your side ribs. That's it, getting really tall. And come back to center, open and melt the arms down, good. And ready with a big push, push in a big piece of furniture and relax, push. And relax, push. And relax, really push and relax, now push side, and relax, thick mud, push, not jello, it's thick mud, relax, and push, relax, and push, good, now we're gonna take one arm front, one arm side, push, and relax, push, relax, push, relax, strong arms, Push, relax, shake it out. Shake those hands and wrists, shake them out. Shake them all the way up and release. Okay, bring your hands together, clasp your hands. Point your fingers up, like when we were kids and we did here is the church, yes. 
All right, now you're going to take these pointer fingers, smaller pencil, draw a circle. Make sure your hands are fully clasped so you can move your wrists. Big circle, big circle, reverse it. Reverse. Good, all right, push forward. And open wide, expand your chest. Now we're gonna move right into a contraction, so round your back, scoop your pelvis under, soften your chest and breathe out. Breathe in, lift your pelvis, lift your spine. Open your chest, breathe out, round your back. Breathe out, that's it. Breathe in, lift your pelvis, expand your chest. And one more time, belly in, chest soft, round, breathe out. Breathe in, lift and expand, and relax down, wiggle it out. Good, all right, wiggle forward, slide one leg forward and in, other leg forward and in. Try to get that leg longer. You wanna to try to get a fully straight leg if you can. That's it, and you're sliding that heel forward and in, and heel forward and in, and toe pulling back, and in, and toe pulling back, and in, turn out. Same thing to the diagonal, and in, and out, and in, and out, and in. Stretch that leg, and out, and in. One more time, each side, out, and in, and out, and in. Come back to the parallel center. Hold your chair. So we're gonna do some little kicks, starting with a flexed foot. So we have kick and 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 kick. And kick. Zoe, can we find the uh, drum drumming playlist? Okay, and kick, 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 out to the side, kick, 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 good, back to the front, take a breath, exhale, touch the toe, drop the heel, touch the toe, drop the heel, Touch the toe, drop the heel. Touch the toe, drop the heel. Touch the heel, drop the toe. 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 Okay, articulating our ankles and our feet. Scoop under this leg, lift it up and put it down. Other side. Lift it up and put it down. First side, lift it up and put it down. Other side, lift it up and put it down. Lace your fingers under that thigh, lift it up. Now drop your shoulders, drop your elbows and lift your chest, circling your thigh. This is for your hip sockets. Up, side, down and around. Circle, down and around. Circle, down and around. Circle, down and around, and release. Other side, lace those fingers together under your thigh, lift it up. Drop the shoulders and elbows, lift the chest and spine, and circle, down and around. Up, down and around. Up, down and around. One more, up, down and around, and rest. Good, take a breath and wiggle those fingers all the way down, good. All right, lift your toes, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Lift the heels, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now alternate, lift the toes, lift the heels, lift the toes, 
lift the heels. Lift the toes, lift the heels, lift the toes, lift the heels. Good job, all right. Okay, last thing, we're going to lean forward. Lean to the side, lean back, lean to the other side, lean forward, lean side, all the way back and side. Come forward, take a breath, reverse. Go to this side and back and side and forward and side and back and side. Come forward, let your head round over. Now we're gonna roll up like a slinky, drop the tail into the chair seat. Lower back coming up, middle back, upper back, now the shoulders, then the neck and the head. Very important, very important movement for you to learn, rolling up the spine. Take a breath. Exhale, all right, it is time to get our pillows. So if you haven't gotten your pillow, go run and get your bed pillow, okay? Grab it off the bed. We're gonna place it on our lap. We're going to open our legs just a little wider than we normally do, okay? So we're gonna take a fist and we're gonna punch into that pillow. Punch, 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 punch. Relax. Other side. Punch, 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 punch. Relax. I'm sure you all know what this is for, okay? <laughs> and we all feel like this. Uh, and especially these days, I think there are days when we really want to punch our pillow. So, we're gonna take it again a little faster. Punch, 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 punch. Keep going. Punch, 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 punch. Change hands, hold the pillow with that hand, and punch, 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 punch. Good, nice and strong. Bring the feet in a little bit. Now, don't hurt yourself with this. We're gonna take both fists and we're gonna pummel the pillow, okay? Try to get some strength, but don't hurt yourself. Here we go. You can go at your own pace. And rest. Good, that felt good, right? Okay, very good. I'm gonna just get my little cheat sheet out here so I know the different pillow movements that I have created <laughs> that I keep changing. So I want you to hold your pillow on the sides, lift it up and flip. Grab, lift it up and flip. I do this every night. I don't know why, but when the pillow gets too hot, I gotta flip the pillow. Hold and flip. Hold and flip. Hold and flip. Hold and flip. Good, so remember that. Good, it's good for your dexterity in your hands. Yes, very good. All right, hold the pillow up this way. So we're still holding onto the short ends. We're gonna open our feet a little bit wider and we're gonna push forward Side, side, up, all the way down. Try to touch the floor. Good, let's do it again. Ready, and forward, let's go to the other side. Side, side, all the way up, all the way down, and back to center. Can we do it a little faster? Here we go forward and one side and the other side and up and down center and forward we go this side we go that side and up and down Whew. take a breath place the pillow on your thighs again 
and march, 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 back into center, march, 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 faster, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pull down, two, three, four, five, six, a little resistance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rest. Good. Take the pillow onto your head. Elbows are wide, not here, but nice and wide, sitting tall. Yes. Lift it up and down behind your head and back. Lift it up and down behind your head and back. Lift it up and down behind your head, stretching those triceps. Lift it up, strong arms and down behind your head and back on your head. Gentle twist, center and twist. Center, your head is pushing into the pillow. Twist and center, twist and center. A little faster, twist, 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 twist. Come back to center, good. Lift the pillow up and down. All right. We're gonna lift the pillow up again, relax your shoulders, swing the pillow over to one side and over to the other side. Twist, look behind you and twist, look behind you. Kind of your washing machine action. We're gonna take it up a little faster, so hold the pillow, hold the sides of the pillow, looking behind you Warming up the spine again. And coming back to center, good. Relax your hands for just a minute, shake them out. Wiggle the fingers, shake them out. Wiggle the fingers, open the hands wide. Squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Really open wide and shake them out, good job. Okay, all right, drop the pillow down to one side and we're gonna go up and over. Up and over, my roller coaster move. Up and over, up and over. And center, kick and kick and kick and kick and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump. Now we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. So we're gonna go up and over four times, four kicks, and four jumps. Ready, starting to this side, and up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over, center, kick, and kick, and kick, and kick, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump again. Up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over, and center fast. Kick, 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 four more, and kick, 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 and jump, in, bigger jumps, bigger jumps, bigger jumps. Take the pillow on your head, elbows open, bigger jumps, open, close, 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 and rest. Whoo, take a breath. Exhale, all right. So, we're going to place the pillow 
in between our legs. So you're gonna fold it and put it in between your thighs. Adjust your feet. So we've done this with the ball before or the cylinder or the toilet paper roll, but now we're gonna do it with the pillow. Hands are on your thighs. We're going to squeeze. So squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. So we're working on our leg muscles. We're activating those adductor muscles inside of our thighs, but we're really working all of the thigh muscles. So we're squeezing, let's do four more. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Those muscles are really important in the balance of our legs that help our balance. So balancing your leg muscles inside and outside of your thighs can help your balance. Now we're gonna add some arms. So we've got fists, clap, snap, tap. Say it with me. Fists, clap, snap, tap. Fists, clap, snap, tap. Fists, clap, snap, tap. All right. We're gonna do those arms, and every time we do this, we're gonna squeeze, this, we're gonna squeeze, this, we're gonna squeeze, and this, we're gonna squeeze. So we're gonna keep squeezing every time we do our arms. Yes, multitasking for our brain. There's your mind-body connection. Here we go. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good job. Okay, relax the pillow, toe heel open out. So your legs are nice and wide, toes on the diagonal, and push the pillow down to the floor. Now don't, we're not doing a headstand, okay? But just rest over, keep your derriere on the chair. If your hands are down and you can take your elbows, you can press against your thighs just a little bit. Breathe here, let your head round over, breathe. And then rolling up, there's that same slinky roll up. Tailbone down into the chair, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, neck, and head. Good, toe heel back into a wide stance. All right. So, we're gonna take the pillow back on top of the head and we're going to kick one leg out and in. Other leg out and in. Now we're gonna kick and breathe. So we're gonna hold it here, breathe. Two, three, four, relax. And breathe. Two, three, four, relax. And breathe. Two, three, four, relax. And breathe. Two, three, four, relax. Okay, firing up those quads. Yes, that's what we wanna do. All right, march it out. Open out, open in, open out, open in, release. Good job. All right, so fold the pillow and put it in between your thighs again. Wiggle back a little bit in your chair. Hold the chair seat. We're going to squeeze the pillow and lift the legs up. What are you using? Your abs as well as your legs. You can use your hands to help you. Minimize the tension in your shoulders, lifting up. 
lift, release, lift, release, lift, release, abs working, lift, release, four more, four, three, two, one, and rest, good job. Take the ends of the pillow, the corners, and slide the pillow down onto your ankle. Bring your feet slightly forward and flex them. Wiggle back in your chair a little bit more, so you're walking your heels back a little bit. Toes are up. Lean back, holding the pillow corners. Bellies are in, chest is up, and lift. Up, release. Up, release. Up, release. Up, release. Up, release. Up, release. Use those bellies. Up, release. Up, release. Take a breath. Flex your feet. Lift up and stay there. And clap, 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 and the arms. One more time. And rest. Okay, building strength in our legs, which helps with our balance. Finally, we're going to wiggle forward. Bring the pillow back on top of our head, yes, and lean forward, keep it on the head, and up. Reach way up, and down. Lean forward, and up. Bring it all the way up, and down. Good, to stretch out the back, and come down, and Put it to the side. All right, everybody take a breath. Exhale. Open your feet wide again, not too wide. And, whoops. Pull those heels slightly behind your knees. We're going to stand. So I want you to use your hands if you need to. Keep your toes down. Lift a little bit off the chair and come down. Lift and come down. Lift and come down. Toes all the way down. Lift, toes down. Lift the torso up. Breathe here, don't move. Breathe, clear focus as always. If you're dizzy, you'll wanna sit down. Okay. Find that beat. Now before we move, we're going to go heel, toe, 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 heel, toe. Now we're gonna walk around to the back of the chair and then grab the back of the chair, but we're walking around using the heel, toe walk. So we have heel, toe, heel, toe, Heel 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 toe. So now you're behind your chair. I'm going to be, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna be to the side so that you can see me. Make sure that you're holding on. The heel toe walk is really important. We'll get back to that in a few minutes, but I want you to remember that. Nice, safe way to move around, especially if you have to change direction. So marching. Marching out and in and out and in. Now, we're marching one, two, three, lift. 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 One, 
two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift and rest. Okay, challenging your balance. Feet are hip width apart, shoulders over your pelvis, you're holding onto the chair, and little bend and stretch and rise and lower, and 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 bend and stretch and rise and lower and bend and stretch and rise and lower and bend and stretch and rise and lower and bend and stretch and rise and lower. Good, march it out. Okay, I'm gonna come behind the chair. Turn my feet out slightly and open my feet fairly wide, at least as wide as your chair legs. Little bend and shift, bend and shift. Bend, straighten both legs, bend, straighten both legs. Weight will be on this leg and then weight on this leg. Pelvis goes down and up, down and up. Now it's not a V, it's a curve. This is an under curve, under curve. So you're shifting weight, your pelvis is curving down and under and then up. Good, come back to center, rest, breathe. So now we're going to do the opposite of that, which, was, which is an over curve. We did an under curve with our pelvis, now we're gonna do an over curve. So we're gonna start shifted to this side, and then we're gonna lift up and over. Really the lift comes from here. The legs help a little bit, but the lift is here. So this is like somebody was gonna grab your pelvis and lift you into the air. Lift and over, lift and over, lift and over. You can bend this knee, lift and over, bend this knee, lift and over, lift and over, lift and over. Pelvis up and over. Pelvis up and over, last one, pelvis up and over. Good, come to center. So really working on where is this in relation to our legs, yes? And what is it doing? And how does that help us in terms of weight shift? Weight shift is a big thing because when we are walking, when we have to change direction, we're using weight shift and we really need to have control over that. So these movements can help us to have control over that so we don't fall. That's the purpose of this. Okay, so we're going to, today we're going to bring our toes straight ahead and we're going to do some side stepping. So if I'm here and you can see my feet, I could be stepping this way I'm gonna go as far away from my chair as I can, maybe even letting go, and then I'm gonna come back. Yes? So we're gonna start at the center. We're gonna go in this direction first, four little side steps. Step together, step together, step together, step together. So connection to the chair, coming back, step, Together, step, together, step, together, step, together. Now we're gonna do it, I'm gonna move my chair just a little bit. 
We're gonna do it to the other side. Step, together, step, together, step, together, step, together. Coming back, step, together, step, together, step, together, step, together. Good. Let's see if we can sidestep two to this direction, four to this direction, back two. So we have one together, two together, four going back, one, two together, three together, four together, back, one together, two together. Let's try that whole thing again. So we have one together, two together, four this way, one together, two together, three together, four together, two back this way, one together, two together. Yes, it's math, okay. <laughs> yes, math and movement, very connected, very connected. Sidestepping is an important skill that we need to keep practicing. Right now, we're going to actually walk around our chair. We're going to heel toe walk around our chair. So let's turn to this side. Start with either foot and heel toe walk. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, stay behind the chair. Good, turn your toes out and brush, 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 opposite arm, Opposite arm, opposite arm, opposite arm. Lift the knee, lift the knee, lift the knee, lift the knee. Bend the knees and straight. Rise and lower. Okay, turn to this side. Guess what, we're gonna walk all the way around our chair again. Yes, going in the opposite direction. And you'll notice that I do try to touch the chair as much as possible so that you don't have to let go. Here we go. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. You can take this even slower. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, feet turning out, heels touching. Brush together, brush together, brush together, brush together. Brush with the opposite arm, reach, brush and reach, brush and reach. Lift the knees, lift the knees, Lift the knees, lift the knees, bend the knees and straight and rise and lower. Okay, step out, step out. A little wider if you need to. Chair is fairly close to you and little knee bend and straight, little knee bend and straight, bigger knee bend Biggest one that you can make today. Pull your skinny jeans all the way up. Zip your magic zipper. Flatten your toothpaste tube from your tailbone. Squirt that toothpaste through the center of your spine, all the way out through the top of your head. Grow an inch. Grow an inch and a quarter. Stay there. Push your feet down into the ground. Let go. If you can, let go with the other arm as well. Feet are grounding into the ground. You're wiping the toothpaste off the top of the ceiling. Open wide. Stretch your fingers, push your feet down. Feel gigantic and turn yourself into the star that you are. 
and twinkle and glitter and shimmer and shine and smile and hold your chair. Bend your knees, toe heel in, wiggle your hips. Good. All right, let's toe, let's heel toe, walk around to the front of the chair. Step wide. Cross our hands, not butterfly this time, and little squat and lift. Squat and lift, and we can start to get some slow music again, Zoe. Squat and lift, squat and lift, squat. Hold the chair, slowly land in the chair. Good. All right, kick one leg, kick the other, kick one leg, kick the other, shake your thighs. Pound your thighs, shake your thighs, pound your thighs. We worked on those muscles a lot today. Shake your hands, wiggle your fingers. Now I know I told you that I was going to talk to you a little bit about the heel toe walk. There's a reason that the heel toe walk is very important. And I have taught this by using tap shoes where you touch the heel and then you spank the, the tap that's on the ball of your foot right here onto the floor so you can hear it. If you have this symptom called festination, which means that you are shuffling feet first and then your feet suddenly feel like they're glued to the floor, especially if you're transitioning like through a door or someplace where you have fallen before, you're going to vibrate, get stuck, and then fall. If you walk really fast, that may also happen. So the heel toe walking and walking slow is a trick that can help with that. If you have the problem of transitioning like through a door or over a change from like carpeting to flooring, you may wanna put something down in front of you that you can step over like a jacket or something like that. Some, some of my students have a cane that has a laser light or a walker that has a laser light that helps to uh, move you forward. So my, my little phrase is heel toe go slow. Heel toe go slow. So I want you to remember that. Heel toe go slow, especially for those of you who have that really difficult symptom called festination. All right, take a breath. Exhale. Take another breath. Exhale. Roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders. Hands up. Flip, so the backs of the hands are facing the screen, your palms are facing you. Cross your hands, hook your thumbs, make your butterfly. Bring your butterfly to your chest. Breathe. And relax, good. All right, that's my gift to you today. I hope you enjoyed this. And please do give us a shout out if you're new and you came on a little bit after I said hello to Heidi, Grace, and Tina. And I know I've got a few more folks coming on. Thank you, Zoe, my maestro and helper. And so Cindy's coming on from Northwest Austin. Dulce is coming on from Portugal. I love Portugal. Georges from France, wonderful. Thank you again. Hideo, our PD factory is coming on from Japan. And Joan 
in Oregon, wonderful. All, all my regulars, yes, I love it, that's just great. So I hope that you will take this. Don't forget, those of you who are in the area, we have in person some special classes. We have Rachel's vocal exercise and singing class on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock at Unity Church and my dance exercise class on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock at Unity Church. And then we have Nadine's wonderful relax and reset class that is involving breathing, stretching, and mindfulness. So all of, all of these aspects really work the concept of mind, body, and neuroplasticity for you. And that's in addition to all of our fabulous fitness classes that we have every week that work with brain games and mental challenges and all sorts of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to be well, be safe, think positively, and no falling. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much. Love you all. Hi, if you had fun with me today, give us a thumbs up. You can also leave a comment in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.